the 2020 Virtual Disability Athletics Fair. Thanks to our sponsors. Samantha Neely Volleyball. Hello everyone, what's up? My name is Coach Sam and I am the head indoor volleyball coach at Mount Sac. Today I'm going to be leading you through a bunch of fun volleyball exercises. But before we get started, I wanna go over what we're going to need today to do these volleyball drills. Number one, we're gonna need you. So if you're not ready, go ahead and sit up tall or stand up and get ready to move and do some really fun volleyball things. Number two, we're gonna need a volleyball. So if you have a volleyball, that's awesome. Go ahead and go get it. But if you don't have a volleyball, that's totally okay. We can use really any sort of ball, whether it be a soccer ball or a beach ball or even a balloon. So anything that you can hit up into the air is gonna work for our drills today and we'll have a lot of fun with. So if you're ready, I'm ready and let's begin. All right, before we start, we're gonna do a quick warm up. So go ahead and follow along with me. First thing, we're gonna stretch our right arm. So we're gonna get our right arm and put it across our body. We're gonna hold it there for 10 seconds. You can count with me. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Go ahead and switch arms, left arm now across your body, 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Next thing, we're going to reach towards the sky and then we're gonna go all the way down and try to touch our toes. All right, so we're gonna do five of these total. You can go ahead and count along with me. So reach up to the sky and back down, touch your toes, that's one. Up to the sky, down and touch your toes, that's two. Reach up and down, three, up and down, four, last one, up and down. Nice job, that's five. We're moving on to our next thing now, which is our quad stretch. This is gonna require a little bit of balance. You're gonna go ahead and grab your right ankle and you're gonna pull it back to your butt as much as you can. So you should feel a nice stretch in the front of your leg right here. And we'll hold for 10 seconds, count with me. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we're gonna switch legs now. Left leg, grab that ankle and pull it back to your butt. Try to balance the best as you can. And 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, we've got one more stretch. It's gonna be a forward lunge. So you're gonna get this right leg, you're gonna take a big step forward. All right, we're gonna bend this back knee, and you're gonna lean forward as much as you can, feel a nice stretch in the front of your hip. And then we're gonna add a little bit of a twist in there. All right, so we'll do 10 twists total. Go ahead and count with me. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stand back up. And this time we're gonna step forward with our left leg. So take a big step with your left leg and lean forward. We're gonna do big twists again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're ready to begin some volleyball. Okay, first drill. One major part of volleyball is jumping. So we jump a lot, and so we're gonna practice our jumping right now. If you're not able to jump, you can do a squat variation instead and just not jump off of the ground. All right, first, we're gonna try small jumps. So you're just gonna go little tiny hops. Go ahead and try it with me. 
Good. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. So we're just going to get nice and warm. Get used to jumping a little bit. Nice job. Keep it up. Almost done. And stop. All right, next thing is now that we've done small jumps, we're gonna do some big jumps. So I wanna see you jump as high as you can. Get off the ground um, and really, let's do those springs in your feet. If you can't do a jump, let's just do a really big squat. Um, try to squat down as much as you can and get nice and low to the ground, all right? So once again, for 30 seconds, we're gonna see big jumps. Go ahead and do it with me. Big jumps. Nice job. Woo! Jumping real high. Keep it up. Nice job. Nice job. Almost done. Let's try to get three more jumps in there. Three, two, one, and stop. Another thing we do in volleyball a lot is bend our knees, get nice and low, ready to pass a ball. So we're gonna practice that really quick. So go ahead, if you're standing up straight, you're gonna bend your knees, get nice and low, almost like you're sitting in a chair, and you're gonna have your arms out in front of you, all right? What we're gonna do next is we're gonna practice our slow shuffles. We're gonna take steps side to side. And we're gonna take three steps in each direction and then we'll move the other direction, all right? If you're unable to shuffle side to side, go ahead and just practice having your hands out and ready to pass that ball. First off, we're gonna do those slow shuffles like I mentioned. We'll go back and forth six times total. So go ahead and go with me. Three steps to the left. One, two, three. Three steps to the right. One, two, three. Nice job. All right, we have a couple more. Three steps to the left. Stay low, have those knees bent, and to the right. One, two, and three. All right, last round. We're gonna take steps to the left. One, two, three. Keep those arms out ready to pass. And one, two, three. Good job, everyone. All right, are you guys ready to speed something up a little bit? Yeah, we're ready? All right, so we're gonna do those same things, slow shuffles. But this time we're gonna speed it up so it's not gonna be slow anymore. So once again, we're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna shuffle as fast as we can to the left and then as fast as we can to the right. Once again, keep those arms out in front of you and it's gonna look like this. Fast, fast, fast. You think you can do it? All right, let's get started. We'll go six times total. Ready, set, go. Fast, fast, fast to the left. Fast, fast, fast to the right. Nice, that's one. Fast, fast, fast to the left. Fast, fast, fast to the right. Good, that's two. Last round right here. We're gonna shuffle as fast as you can on this last round. Ready, set, go. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Nice job, everyone. Good job on that shuffling. Next up, we're gonna get a ball involved. So if you don't have your ball already, go ahead and go get it. I'm using a beach ball, but you can use a volleyball. You can use a balloon or any other item that I mentioned that we can use as a volleyball, all right? First off, we're gonna try to use our one arm to pass the ball in the air, all right? So we use our arms to keep the ball up in the air. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the flat part of our forearm. So we're not gonna use our fist, but we're gonna try to hit it right here on this sweet spot called our platform. So if you're ready, we're gonna get this ball. I'm gonna have my elbow locked out straight in front of me. I'm gonna try to keep this ball up in the air as long as I can. My knees are nice and bent. And I'm gonna toss myself and just barely tap the ball, really focusing on keeping that ball in the air. All right, so I want you all to try now with me. We're gonna try with our right arm and then we're gonna try with our left arm after. So go ahead and get low, have your knees bent, have that arm locked out. 
and we're gonna toss the ball to ourselves. Go ahead and try to keep that ball up in the air. And try to count how many you can get in a row, all right? So you wanna get the highest number possible, how many you can pass in a row without letting that ball drop on the ground. Nice job, you're doing good. Keep it up, almost done. It's a little challenging at first, but keep on practicing. And catch the ball. All right, we tried our right arm now. We're gonna try our left arm. Might be a little tricky, but we're gonna try it. All right, so go ahead once again, have that elbow locked out. This time your left arm. We're gonna toss the ball to ourselves and hit it right on our platform, right on that straight part of our forearm. Good. Keep it going, keep that ball up off the ground. Nice job, get to the highest number you can. And rest. All right, I have a little bit of a challenge for us. We're gonna go for 30 seconds and we're gonna see how high of a number we can go. You can use your right arm, you can use your left arm, or you can alternate and use both arms, all right? So whatever you wanna do, um, whatever you feel comfortable with, go ahead and do so. And I wanna see how high of a number you can get of how many times you can keep the ball up in a row. All right, you ready? In three, two, one, and go. Count that number. Keep those arms straight out in front of you, your knees bent. How high can you get? Keep it up, halfway done. Keep going, keep going, you got this. Almost done, last five seconds, five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. How many of you got a couple in a row? At least a couple. Awesome. If you got more than five, you guys are superstars. Um, you did a really good job on that. So we're ready for our next thing, which is double arm passing. I'm going to show you how we pass a volleyball with both of our arms, which is the most common way that we get that ball up in the air. So go ahead and follow along with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a fist with one arm, all right? And then we're gonna get our other hand and we're gonna cover that fist so that our thumbs are in a line. Once again, when we pass that ball, we wanna have our elbows locked out and we wanna pass the ball right on our platform, that flat spot on our arm. That's the sweet spot right where you want the ball to hit. So once again, let's try it together. You're gonna to throw the ball up in the air and you're gonna to try to pass it right on that platform and see how many times in a row you could pass that ball. Most important thing is stay low and have those elbows locked out. All right, go ahead and try it with me. Throw that ball up in the air and pass. Might be a little challenging at first, but keep focused on the ball. You can try hitting the ball really high up in the air, or you can try to do little tiny passes, or you can do a little bit of both. Have fun with it. Stay low. Good job, everyone. Keep it up. Keep practicing. and rest. You guys are doing awesome. I think we're ready to do some setting now. So setting is another skill in volleyball and this is a skill that uses our hands. So what we're gonna do is I want you to make a triangle with your hands. Can you do that with me? We wanna make a nice triangle with these two fingers. You make two L's and then have them together to make that triangle shape. Nice job. All right, next you're gonna get that triangle shape and you're gonna put it on the ball. So once again, we're here. 
and then I'm going to put it above my head. I want to have it right on top of my forehead and my elbows out ready to push that ball up in the air as high as I can. So I want you to practice with me. All we're going to do is we're going to push the ball up in the air like Superman and then you're going to catch the ball. All right? That's all we're going to do. So go ahead and practice that a couple times. We're going to throw it up in the air and catch the ball. Throw it up in the air and catch. Keep that triangle in place and push like Superman and catch. And push and catch. Go ahead and try that a couple more times. Last one. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna try to actually set the ball. So in volleyball, we're not allowed to catch the ball. We've gotta keep the ball up in the air at all times. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to push out against the ball. And when it comes back to us, instead of catching it, we're gonna push up again. If you have a partner, like your mom, your dad, your sister or brother that's in your house, you can have them toss to you. If not, you can toss to yourself, which is what I'm going to be doing. And we're just gonna practice that setting form. So once again, watch me do it once, toss to myself and push up, toss to myself and push up. All right, so go ahead and practice that a couple times. I wanna see how high you can set it in the air. Start out with that triangle. Get it up on top of your head and push out like Superman or Superwoman. Go ahead and practice. Push. Push. Nice job. Push. Keep it up, keep it up. Couple more. Nice. If you feel like you're getting really good at it, you could try to set it a couple times in a row. So we could be here, when that ball comes back, try setting it again. Don't catch it. Just keep it up in the air. If you feel like you're still practicing, you can just catch and then toss to yourself again. Go ahead and keep it up, almost done. And rest. Woo! You guys are doing great. And you've learned two volleyball skills already, which is awesome. We're going to move on to a couple more now. The third skill that we're going to learn today is serving. So this is how we start a rally or start a point in volleyball and it requires you to do one of two things. I'm gonna be teaching you an underhand serve and then we're gonna try an overhand serve, which is a little more challenging. First off, an underhand serve, you're gonna hold the ball with your non-dominant hand, meaning the hand that you do not write with. So whichever hand you write with, you want it to be free and ready to hit the ball, all right? So in this case, I'm gonna use my right hand because I write with my right and I'm gonna hold the ball with my left hand. All right, next, we're gonna make a fist with our right hand or whichever hand you write with. And we're gonna lock our elbow out right under the ball. You're gonna swing back and swing forward and hit that ball out of your hand. You want it to go as far forward and high as possible. All right, so it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna have my fist ready, my arm locked out, swing back and swing forward, all right? So go ahead and try that a couple times. Once again, if you have mom, dad, sister, or brother with you, they can help you catch that ball once you serve it to them. If not, you can just run and go get it after. So just go ahead on your own, try that underhand serve. Try to bump it as high in the air as possible. And swing. Good. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. Try to challenge yourself. Get it a little higher on each swing, a little bit farther. So you want to get that ball over the volleyball net, which is pretty tall. Go ahead and try one more underhand serve. 
Lock that elbow out. Use that fist and swing at the ball. Okay, go ahead and pause for me and pay attention. We're gonna move on to our overhand serve now. So you're gonna watch me carefully. Once again, you're gonna hold the ball in your non-dominant hand, which is my left hand in this case. And for our overhand serve, we're gonna swing at the ball above our head. So what I need you to do is to start with that elbow pulled back high, almost like a bow and arrow. You're gonna pull it back. You're gonna have that elbow high next to your ear and that hand nice and big, ready to hit the ball. All right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss the ball up with this hand and I'm gonna swing at it. So go ahead and watch, I have my elbow high, nice and back like a bow and arrow, and swing. Nice big hand. All right, you can go ahead and practice on your own. Once again, if you could have somebody catching, that's awesome. If not, you can go run as fast as you can for your ball and keep on practicing. Go ahead, so I'm gonna start Pull my elbow back, have my hand nice and big. I'm gonna toss and swing. Hopefully practicing hitting that ball. Nice job. This overhand serve is pretty challenging, but I know you guys can do it. I know you're trying your best, so continue to practice. Let's get a couple more serves in, all right? All right, go ahead and finish your last serve. And then go ahead and come back to the camera. Good job, everyone. I think we're ready to learn our fourth and final skill, which is our approach. All right, everyone. Last skill is our approach, which is the steps that we take to hit the ball, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow along with me. It's gonna use our left, right, left steps, and then we're gonna swing at the ball. If you're unable to do an approach, you can practice your arm swing, but you're gonna throw your arms up, keep that elbow high like we just practiced with serving, and you're gonna swing through the ball. You can have somebody toss to you if you would like and practice hitting. It's really up to you what you guys wanna do with this. So, We'll get started with our approach. Whichever hand you write with is gonna be the leg that you start on. All right, so I write with my right hand, so I'm gonna start with my right leg. It's gonna be planted in the ground. My left leg is gonna get ready to step. So if I'm right-handed, I'm gonna do a left, right, left approach. If I am left-handed, then I'm going to do a right, left, right approach. All right, so I'll go over both. This is for my right-handed people. We're gonna take three big steps, all right? So we're gonna start on our right leg. We're gonna go left, right, left, jump. All right, I'll go ahead and do that again. Start on our right leg. We're gonna go left, right, left, jump. For my left-handed people, we're gonna do the exact opposite. So we're gonna start on our left leg. We're gonna go right, left, right, jump. So go ahead and practice that with me. You're gonna take three steps. And one, two, three, jump. Nice job. Let's try it a couple more times. One, two, three, jump. All right, this last one, I want you to jump as high as you can. Big steps, ready? One, two, three, jump. Woo, nice jumping. Now we're gonna do a couple more and we're gonna add an arm swing now. So as I was saying, what we wanna do is we wanna pull our arm back. We wanna get our other arm and we wanna point it to the sky. It's our target, it's our aimer. And we're gonna swing through the ball. All right, so go ahead and practice that with me. A few times, arm pulled back and swing. Arm pulled back and swing. 
All right, let's try it out. If you have somebody with you, they could toss the ball to you. If not, you can just practice your steps like I am. All right, ready? We're adding a jump and a swing now. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, swing. And back, ready, set, go. One, two, three, swing. Good job. All right, everyone, this is our last and final thing. So I want you to jump as high as you can and swing as hard as you can. You got this. Let's go. Is everyone ready? All right, big steps, big jump, hard swing. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, swing. Woo! You guys did so good today. Thank you so much for joining me and playing some volleyball with me. I hope you had some fun and I hope you learned a little bit. So until next time, thank you and have a fun rest of your day. Click the provided Zoom link on the event page for an exclusive DAF 2020 Q&A with the coach.